Man, it's been crazy out here. Good game against Dallas. Time to head to the airport. Take on the Spurs. Let's see what we can do. Let me turn the radio on real quick, though. Like Bruce Wayne, I'm saving the day. And I'm getting banged. I'm Foulé. Whoa, are you serious? A bus? Ah, my arm. Ah, come on now, cuz. Big will in the building. Johnson 8312, the biggest boss on YouTube. Bring you guys another NBA 2K13 My Career Gameplay featuring my athletic shooting guard. And as you see, our record 16 to 17. We started to make a push. Trying to make this late season push like the Lakers. <laughs> Try to get us above 500. But I see Ryan Anderson cutting on the fast break. He gets the easy layup. Putting the score to 8 to 4. And after they score, we come back down. We got another fast break opportunity. I'm calling for it. And you guys remember this from the last play I just showed, hitting Ryan Anderson. He gets a nice jump shot. So I start off the game with two quick assists. And then they call the same play that they always call for, this little two tray or whatever it's called. But I pull up for the nice mid-range jump shot and get it in his face. Pause. But anyways, man, how have you guys been enjoying All-Star Weekend? You know what I mean? I watched a little bit of the Celebrity Game last night. But um, the Celebrity Game is kind of lackluster in my opinion. But I get the nice steal going on a fast break. You know I'm dunking on him. But yeah, I'm mostly looking forward to like the All-Star Game, the dunk contest, the three-point shootout, the events that's happening tonight and tomorrow. I think Friday is just kind of eh. But there was something interesting that happened for Friday. Kyrie Irving was basically putting the moves on him like I'm putting on him right there. Get the crossover, get the layup, and the foul to end the quarter. But Kyrie Irving crossed up Brandon Knight. I don't know, it just seemed like this year I've seen a lot more people getting crossed up and falling. I don't know, I think it's something that 2K predicted because they put all these ankle breakers in there as I turn that two to three. But they put all these ankle breakers in the game and you know, you make people fall all the time. And um, yeah, I just see like I see a lot more of that in the um, NBA now. But as I pass it off to Anthony Davis for a nice dunk, I don't know what Boris, Boris Dial was thinking. He jumps up, he gets posterized. That's usually me putting people on posters, but I guess Anthony Davis wants me to share it. So it is what it is. But as you see, we're coming down on the fast break, or I'm sorry, excuse me, on the inbound pass. I get the uh, nice pass. And Tim Duncan gets put on the poster. I don't know what these guys are doing. Why are they jumping with us? We're high flyers over here in New Orleans. The Pelicans. <laughs> I guess the name suits us. But anyways, I go to the free throw line. I turn that two into three. But as you see right there, my five signature skills. I told you guys a while ago, I switched out a shot creator. I switched that out for scrapper. That way I could get more rebounds. As I get a nice dunk right there. But it definitely does help, you know. I feel like I don't shoot as many jump shots. I'm a guy that attacks the basket a lot, so all that doesn't really matter. But I get a nice alley-oop off the inbound pass. And then after that, Anthony Davis is coming down. I go around him, and I lose my man, and I go for another alley-oop. Let's go. Back-to-back alley-oops. Trying to get the fans of New Orleans excited. Catch that one one-handed. Get a nice tomahawk off of it. But as you see, we're in the third quarter, down by three. I see a mismatch. For some reason, Tim Duncan was matched up on me. I call for the ISO, step back to get space, and then I put the speed on him. And I go to the basket with a nice dunk. That's something they did really good in this game is that if you were faced with a mismatch, you could blow past the guy if you have the speed. Tim Duncan should nowhere near be able to keep up with my guy. He's 99 in speed and all that good stuff. So there's no way you should be able to keep up with him, and that's what happened. But, um... Anyways, we get down on the next play. I see Eric Gordon. They did a good job of rotating, covering him. He passes it back to me. Hitting him with the nice crossover. Getting to the basket. Boom, shakalaka. Boris Diaw, you already got posterized earlier. I guess this guy just trying to make the highlight real. That's all it was. But we go to the free throw line. Turn that two to three. Barely. Start ringing around the room. But anyways, I come down. I see Eric Gordon. For some reason, my man switched off on him. I thought I had him for the easy three. But I'm going to the basket again for another alley-oop. And wow. Wow. 
I don't know what happened there, man. I always miss a dunk every game. But you see the arm playing effect right there. I miss, miss time that. But I'm not going to give up on the play. Get that weak ass out of here. What are you doing? Then right after as I come back down and throw up the alley-oop to Aminu. I don't understand how um, I got that chase down block. I did buy the chase down artist signature, but I didn't equip it. But I got the nice little chase down block on that play anyways. But you know my team is excited, so let's see what happens. Come on, Roger Mason. Come on, man. Get that bum off the court. <laughs> I can't stand Roger Mason, you know. There's always that one teammate that you just can't stand, and mine's is Roger Mason. But as you see me fighting underneath the basket, get the nice rebound. Put it up I'm trying to put the team on our back because you see we're down in the fourth quarter 102 to 89 I'm trying to make a late push get to the basket get a nice layup we're trying to make this late game push now we're down by eight got tony parker on me i call for the screen go around two people boom shakalaka i don't understand what's going on but as you see it's a six point game I'm trying to see if i can steal an inbound pass that didn't work so i'm trailing on the play i'm playing bad defense but give me that steal buddy Go back down the court, never giving up on the plate. And Tony Parker gets dunked on two times in about five seconds. So I definitely was um, a highlight reel on Tony Parker. Look at him. Get out the way. Don't know what you're doing underneath the hoop. You knew you weren't contesting that. Just doesn't make any kind of sense. So look at this. Now we're down by four. Still trying to see if we can get something going. It's two minutes and 35 seconds left in the game. And look at this. He goes out of bounds, man. We're getting all the breaks in the fourth quarter. Seems like the computer's cheesing in our direction this time. They come at me with a double team. Hit Eric Gordon. I wish he would have shot the three-pointer, but he goes to the basket, gets the one-handed floater. And now it's a two-point game with two minutes to go. So now picking it up, they score. We got a four-point game. I go to fadeaway three. Turn it to a one-point game. Trying to put the team on my back. But anyways, we're coming down, playing good defense again, taking the passing lane, stealing it. One minute and nine seconds to go. I come down the court, get fouled. I thought I got fouled. Amino gets the rebound. I said, no, I'll take that. And I put up the rebound and I get that to go. So now we're up by one after trailing for the most part of this game. And we let Tony Parker get a layup. Wow. I don't know. It is what it is. But you see right now, we're down by two. Blair's at the free throw line trying to make us a three-point game. And he misses. Let's go. Timeout. Timeout. Wh what? I get subbed out? Are you serious? Come on, man. Are you serious? As you see, I sat there looking like, wow, why would the coach take me out in the clutch? <sighs> Brought the team back, but oh well. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'm out. Peace. Once again, you have been named as the Rookie of the Month. Your star seems to be rising rapidly at this point in your career. What does your future hold? Uh, let's see. Individual awards, rings, success, praise. And uh, did I mention individual awards? I don't have a problem with the guy who sits here at this table and tells you this stuff don't mean nothing to him. But he's lying to your face. I busted my behind to get to where I am today. I deserve everything I got coming. If y'all hit me up, any subscriber hit me up, you know what I mean? It's nothing. I hit you, hit you back. I'm approachable. You know what I mean? I'm not one of those guys that you can't really just communicate with. 